Hey guys, it's Kim Butterbones here, and we are back for another Kill Console from Outer Space the game. So today I'll be showing you guys the best slim build to use in Kill Console from Outer Space the game. Shout out to literally all of you that mentioned a slim build. Uh, all of you have very unique, awesome ideas, but sadly there was so many and so different ones. So I took some parts from the movie and added some my own stuff into it. So hopefully none of you get mad for that. But if you want to be featured just like them, if any of my videos, Killer Clowns or Horror Games, all you have to do is mention a Killer Clown video idea or Horror Game video idea. And you have a chance to be featured in any of my future videos. So if you want to support me financially or follow any of my social media, they're on the description. If you guys want to see more Killer Clowns from outer space videos like this, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, and without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> So the first primary weapon is the cotton candy ray gun. Fires a steady ray that can turn humans into cotton candy cocoons. Keep locked on and avoid overheating. So this is one of the best primary weapons to use for spiky or slim and shorty. They can literally keep up with any of the survivors and cocoon them on the spot. Not only that, it's one of the fastest ways to cocoon them if they're knocked down as well. And for the secondary weapon is the Jawbreaker Mace. Swing this mace around to smack human in your wide swaps. So basically, this some of the weapons for the secondary are kind of broken still. If you swing like three times out of the three swings, you might get only one hit in or even two hits in. But either way, the Jawbreaker Mace will fit very well for Slim. Can do lots of damage and once you knock them down, you can either cocoon them or just kill them on the spot. And finally, straight to the movie is the invisible car for the trick. Hop on the trusty invisible car and take off through the town. This car allows for faster traversal and can damage those who you run into. And make sure to use the horn for maximum effect. So the horn doesn't really do anything, honestly, it's just a trolling thing to do. But just like in the movie, he did ride the invisible car. So I'm going to be using that not only for movement and going around the map, but also follow just like the movie and bump into people. So without further ado, let's go on to game one. Alrighty, here we go. And by the way, we got the two brand new clown talities, which are the acid flower and the tiny horn. So we're going to use the acid flower first and then we're probably cocoon the rest. Yep. As Probably a bot? There's no way they got an energy drink. Yeah, it's a bot. Okay. Look at that. You see how I swung three times and out of the three times it missed once? Alright, let's see. Damn, slim thick! Oh, that's... <laughs> Honestly, that's actually really cool. I like that. First cocoon. Bap. Oh my god, we got three cocoons. Yeah, one. Two. Three. That's three lackeys right there. We're gonna cocoon this area, get more lackeys, and most likely they're gonna go to the boat. Oh, over here. All right, we're gonna bump into them. Boom, cancel it. Always cancel the bike right after. It gives you an advantage. There you go, and then we're gonna use the air horn. Oh my. Did it just suck her in? Better got the earwax. Oh, I see him. Look at that. You guys see him? Right. He is exactly right here, maybe? Oh, I missed. Okay. He's probably around here. Yeah. Oh, over here. Uh, I see her. I see her. I see her. Hello! Boom! Oh, I got her still! And the swings didn't work. Okay. 
Yeah, she's body blocked. <laughs> oh, and now the classic shadow. Such a classic. It, it works for him too. Nice. I love that. I love this character. I love it. I, I really get to use Slim. And there you go. That was game one. Now nah, it's a game two. Alright, here we go. There you go. This is the downtown map. So, if you guys made it to uh, this far, if you guys made it this far, uh, thank you so much. I love you all. You guys are absolutely amazing, guys and girls. And all of you just motivate me to make more videos like this. I really love making them. And I think I smell some... They just turned that on. What? Okay, so if they just turned that on, they gotta be up here then. By the way, if you're a survivor, you can actually vault this and escape easily without taking all oh, minor damage, but that's really it. Hello. He's gonna try to swing. Yep. Okay, let's try killing him. Boom. I love the music. The music is so good. Oh no, it blew him away. Okay, I thought it sucked him in. <laughs> and number two. Bap. Cancel it right away by clicking C. If you're on console, I have no idea. Okay, out of those, those hits, it didn't register. Where's he going? Right? Right here, maybe? Said so that's the nearest exit? Yep. And boom. You can kind of predict where he was going. Oh my god, he's caked up. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Teleported me? Wait, where did he- Oh! Okay. That's fine. Do this. Lackey, you can defend me, right? Oh, yeah! Oh, dang it. Alright, come on. Come on. We're gonna do this. I know this is risky, but we can do it. What's this? Pick right, go left. I missed, let's go. <laughs> Never lucky, grab her! Oh, alright, here we go. <laughs> Get that woman, get her! Oh, that looks great. Oh my god. Oh, I bumped him! Hey, uh, my cuckoo, mother truck. Mortality. Or the calm apocalypse. <laughs> Right here, perfect. Yep. See, you can all you can always calculate where they were going, and I know he's mad. Bop. Oh. Oh, there we go. We got all of them. Nice. Honestly, that wasn't bad. Yeah, that wasn't bad. It was like a split tire there, but we got more. So that was game two. Now it's a game three. Alright, here we go. This is the last game. Is this a actual survivor? I oh never mind. I guess we got some bots in here. <laughs> well the bots are very easy to get unless they carry weapons it's just like that every time. And the cocoon is did they just jump off the window? Uh first hook? Oh we got a weapon! Okay. 
The bots are very something in this game. Alright, bop. Wait, I think these are not bots because they haven't died already. Oh well. By the way, if you go underneath this bridge, right? Here's another shortcut you can do. If you haven't discovered the map. You go underneath the bridge, then teleport to there. So you don't have to go all the way to the stairs. And I found someone there. Okay, it's probably a bot. He's tweaking out. <laughs> Alright, so the best thing to do, right? Is try to get three cocoons in every single lacking machine. Try to get all three and don't fill up the rest just in case you have to cocoon someone and then bring them all the way far away to the other uh, lacking machine. And boom. There you go. All, all four are on the machine. Oh my god. That's a real player. And he's about to get cocooned. Jeez, that's far away. Uh, actually, we could probably do that one. Oh my god, I think we got all of them. Is that all of them? There's no way. Oh my god, we got all of it. What? In 10 minutes? We got all the all the cocoons in 10 Oh my god. We have to, Wow, okay. That was... Wow, okay. That was a perfect game 3. We got all the cocoons and we still have 10 minutes left. Alright, that was game 3. So, what do you all think? Honestly, it was pretty good. Pretty good. There's a lot of... Uh, different weapons and tricks that you can use for slim or spiky but honestly this fits well and I try to put it more accurate to the movie I hope all of you enjoy if you guys want to support me financially or follow in my social media they're all in the description I try to post regularly I try to at least uh, been busy with life but if you guys want to see more kill comes from outer space videos like this you know what to do hit that subscribe button like button it helps with the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you guys next time peace out